Hey y'all, it's your girl Stace in the place and today in this video I'm here with Little Miss Winnie. She is our inspector. Um, so for this video we are going to go over all the candles that I saw um, yesterday that were already placed out for candle day. Um, so if you're enjoying our videos and you want to know more about candle day please take a hot second to subscribe and feel free to give us a like or comment anything nice down below and we will be super excited right when yeah okay so when I first walked into the store um, over on the right side I saw the image that you're seeing now um, of the all I want for Christmas collection and um, just for transparency, like the names um, of these different collections um, are posted on Life Inside the Page, blogspot.com, um, her website, um, I believe. Yes, her name is Tess. And so she so graciously has like posted all of these nice pictures and um, graphics for us to look at to kind of help give us an idea of what's coming. Um, the pictures that you're seeing posted now are my personal pictures that I took um, from uh, my phone when I went into the store, you know, I was sneaking around in there. Um, and then <laughs> if you're interested in more pictures, um, since Galore on Instagram, she's like the first person that always comes to mind who has pictures of the candles um, in real life in real time. And there's a couple of other people as well. And then also on Facebook, you can find even more pictures. Um, but these person are up here are personally mine. Um, so I didn't steal anything with anyone and I gave everyone their credit. So let's carry on. Um, so <laughs> with the All I Want for Christmas collection, um, the mm -hmm. Perfect Christmas was up there, Merry Mimosa, Cranberry Peach Bellini, um, strawberry snowflakes and vanilla balsam and if you're wondering I'm reading from my little list here because I wanted to make sure I was clear and concise um, and so this collection I smell Mary Mimosa because I was tempted that packaging is cute with the light pink I was very tempted but your girl wasn't in love I mean the berries and the champagne vibe is just it's not my thing but it might be for somebody else um and then let's see the other ones they're all honestly they're all repackages um so it's mainly like the packaging um if you are new to getting into bath and body works candles like don't worry i'll make another video specifically for people who um are you know i don't want to say new but who are just getting into bath and body works and collecting and are curious like well what about the sun nose well what does it actually smell like um i'll go further in detail but i just wanted to give a quick overview of what i saw just in case anyone is like i need to rush to the store or i just want the quick and dirty so this is our quick and dirty video and then we'll go into detail in another video with a different pup um so in this next video i mean in this next picture you're gonna see paris cafe my love and it smells so good oh my gosh it reminds me of the um 2000 isn't it the 2021 yeah the 2021 version in the um I know I'm like looking behind me, but like because <laughs> I got so many of them back there, but we won't go into it. But it's very similar to the um, packaging from before. It's just like, you know, it got a little bleached in the sun, just just a tad bit. It's a couple of shades lighter, but it still smells as strong as I remember um, from 2021. Now, 2022, some people said it was a different story, so I don't know, but it smelled good in the store. Okay, and y'all know I had to smell it because like... Um, and there's also the aromatherapy, um, the stress relief candle. That one was actually in there, which is weird because on um, the website, on the blog spot, it was saying that that one may come out later or maybe on the second day. So I was kind of shocked to see it in my store, um, to see it yesterday. But, you know, hey, that's good for anyone who enjoys that aromatherapy candle. Um, next up, we are going to look at the sweet tooth. So when I saw this one, y'all, I was really taken aback. I was like, is this supposed to be here? Like, right? Like, is this supposed to be here? What's going on? Um, so <laughs> I smelled candy emporium first and that one smells like it's a whole lot of sweetness. And then it slaps you in the face with the mint at the end. But honestly, I don't even want to say it slaps you in the face with the mint because I feel like the mint is very subtle like um it's almost as if you know when you sniff something 
And um, the first like three is like your deep inhale. And all that is is like sweetness and candy. And it almost smells like you're smelling a bowl full of that of the runts candy. Um, and then as you're is like settling in um, and when you're like exhaling just a little bit, but not like in a full exhale, um, <laughs> then you can like smell and appreciate the mintiness. And so for me, um, I'm thinking that this one is going to be something similar to, um, what was it sweet cinnamon pumpkin and twisted peppermint as well as the other one before the other blend that was, um, sweater weather and twisted peppermint where, I think at first a lot of people are going to be iffy about it because you're thinking candy emporium is going to be super super sweet but the peppermint or the mint is kind of like mm, what is going on what is this here but i think once people um, the peppermint patties is how i like to <laughs> as i like to say um i feel like they're gonna love it because of the peppermint um in the mintiness like the mint element to it uh, but I don't, I could see this one flying off the shelves just because it's something different and because it has that mintiness to it at the end. But I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that one, honestly. I think I'll probably end up picking up maybe one, maybe two, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> next up in this picture is the blueberry lemon sour. Now, strap on your seatbelts because it's about to get wild. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that I forecast that people are going to be out here saying that it's the same thing as the blueberry sugared lemonade. And I'm going to stand 10 toes down and I'm going to tell you that it's not. I'm sorry, but they're, they're not the same. The blueberry sugared lemonade blend is far more sweeter um and that's not just because the blueberry lemon is lemon sour it's it's just it's sweeter the lemon is a little bit more prominent in that one versus this new one the blueberry lemon sour the blueberry at least for me yesterday the blueberry was far more um potent it was like when i first smelled it i was like well it's a whole bunch of fruit like where is the lemons where's the sourness where's the tartness um, and then eventually it um, started to come in, um, but it's far more blueberry forward. And the lemon, it just, it smells like lemonade. It is not sweet. So, you know, if it were someone who's like not super, super into candles and they just smelled them and they weren't smelling them to see if there was a difference, I think that they would probably be like, yeah, they're pretty similar. Like, they could be cousins or something like that. Um, but to the person who's really into candles, um, who isn't like a super huge fruit um, or tart fan, I feel like you're going to be able to tell the difference if you don't necessarily care for tarty um, fragrances, but you like sweet lemonade, <laughs> as in myself. Um, you're going to be able to smell the difference. And it's not to say that it's bad, but it's just... They're different, but I can already see that a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's the same. They repackaged it. They just did the blend. It's the same as that candle. I, me personally, they don't smell exactly the same, but I guess that's just the little horse that I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to ride off on. Um, next up is Caramel Drizzle. Uh, that one is a repackage for sure. And la um, Lavender Marshmallow. So I'm sorry. I love lavender marshmallow in the packaging and the purple one that we've seen before. This one, I don't know, y'all. I think maybe because I have to go back to the store today. Um, so I'm going to go in uh, for my pickup order and I'll smell that one again before I smell anything else um, and check it out. But like it didn't. It didn't give me the same strength and the same vibes as the previous lavender marshmallow. And I was just like. Is it just because I'm here in the store and it's a lot of other smells going on or, you know, like what gives? Um, it didn't, it wasn't as strong as I remembered on cold, um, but we'll see. I'll double check, you know, like don't, don't get worried. If you're going to order a crate of them, like don't listen to me, go ahead and order your crate. I would much rather you have them because lavender marshmallow is a cult favorite, um, 
If you want to order lavender marshmallow, I say go ahead, order them suckers. And if you get them and you're like, mm, it's not as strong as I remembered or, you know, or what have you, then you can always return them. OK, but just be mentally prepared just in case. Maybe I just smelled a dud. You know, you never know. But I would feel remiss if I didn't share um, my thoughts. <laughs> so um, also in this picture, I hope you guys see the beauty, the lovely la <laughs> laundry day. Sorry, I don't know what the dogs are doing up there, but they're kind of Anyways, let me let me give her her due diligence. This is the beautiful, the lovely laundry day. And remember, we are going to get two of these. If we are at all interested in these <laughs> laundry day candles, we are getting two. We are not just getting one. We are getting two because Stace in the Place and Winnie said so. As long as it is within the budget, we're getting two. <laughs> so <laughs> let's move on. So. The next step was the four seasons. So we have the perfect spring, the perfect summer, the perfect autumn, and the perfect winter. And as many people have said, um, the perfect spring, the perfect autumn, and the perfect summer. I don't know why I just did those out of order, but those three are all repackages. We've already seen those um, before. And um, I smelled all four of them. Um, the perfect spring didn't do it for me. The perfect summer smells identically like just like the usual perfect summer and the perfect autumn to me it smelled the same as the other ones before the perfect spring honestly i don't think i have that one um i believe the last time it came out let me see okay yeah the last time that i've like seen it was in 2019 and if you are curious about that candle please check out philly Candleman. he has a video up um of his review of the perfect spring candle um, so hopefully that can give you a little bit more help and insight than I can. But when I smelled it in a store, I was just like, and we're moving on. And y'all, the packaging, like one hot second, the packaging, like, what is this? What is this? Okay. Again, strap on your seatbelts because I'm going to get a little sassy, but I just feel like the packaging could have been better and please feel free to disagree with me. You know, we're all different. We have different tastes, different styles. Um, but the packaging left something to be desired. Like, I just feel like this packaging was made for someone named Belinda who like goes to bingo with her friends and, you know, they do bingo at each other's houses. Um, once a week or maybe every two weeks or every month and for some reason Martha one of the bingo girls like she's got it down pack honey like her house is always dressed up for the seasons and Martha be having it going on and Martha be shopping all these little sales at Bath and Body Works and everyone whenever they go in they're like oh my gosh Martha your house is so lovely oh it smells so nice but Belinda is a little hater and Belinda is just like well, I mean, I'm not really into candles, but I'm tired of Martha stealing all the shine. So when these little chicks come over to my place for bingo, like I I need to have a candle that I can just whip on out there and be like, yeah, it's my Bath and Body Works candle. And so Belinda is like talking to the Bath and Body Works execs and is like, hey, look, I need four seasonal candles. I'm, I'm getting up there in age, you know, I, I, I need to be able to see and I need to be able to read the name of the candle and I need it there. You know, I don't, I don't care what you do with the design. You ain't got to make it look all pretty, but I just need to be able to know which candle do I pick for which season? Because when these little chickadees come over, I need to be starting on them. They don't need to see the candle, but they need to smell the aroma when they come into my house. And like, that's the candle, that's the candle label that they made. And I'm just like, I mean, could we have like a little bit more? Hey, hey, you want to be like Belinda too? Hmm? I'm just like, can we have like a little bit more um, inspiration, a little bit more like jazziness, a little bit more festiveness or something? But th this is what we came up with. But okay, I digress. Anyways, uh, the packaging alone made it a no for me. Oh my God. And then I forgot to tell y'all, I don't went off on that tangent. So the perfect winter, 
honestly, I feel like it was a letdown. It's not a horrible candle. I don't honestly know what I was um, expecting. Excuse me, inspector. Can, can we pay attention, please? Um, it wasn't horrible. It smells like, um, I don't know, the notes are uh, winter pine needles, frosted eucalyptus, and icy peppermint. It smells like a toned down version of ice winter balsam to me, uh, maybe even, dare I say, under the Christmas tree. It's not super woody. I do enjoy the eucalyptus, the mintness of it all, but it doesn't have that punch that um, ice winter balsam has. So, I think I'm, a, I'm just gonna let Belinda have that whole collection. Um, no offense to anyone named Belinda, because Belinda was one of my, um, it was my Catholic school secretaries, and she was so sweet to me. Loved her to death. I can like still see her face and everything, but uh, yeah, no offense to the Belindas. You know, it's okay. I know there are some stylish Belindas out there. <laughs> next up, next up we have the Supper Cub. Um, supper club collection gosh i need coffee um it had the raspberry mimosa peach bellini black tie and sweet whiskey which are all repackaged and apologies my picture wasn't that great um i don't know i get like nervous taking pictures of the store i'd be like i hope they don't think i'm trying to case the joint like i'm just trying to take pictures so i can show people what what it looks like um but these are those <laughs> you know the packaging is cute i feel like black tie smells like black tie uh, when it always comes out every year around christmas time um so yeah um, other honorable mentions that um, I did not take pictures of, but they were in the store. Ocean, um, that one was there. It was over there in the section by Flannel and Woodlands. It was like a little men's um, little square, and they had Ocean on the front and the back. It wasn't a lot of them, and for some reason, there's never a lot of the Ocean candle every year, which is wow. Um, there was also the Spring Reform Collection, which includes Tiki Beach, White Tea and Sage, Mahogany Coconut, um, Black Teakwood, and Fresh Cut Lilacs. <laughs> and so, I'm sorry, apologies. I did not take a picture of those. Those were down on like the bottom um, row on the back side of the huge display of Christmas candles. And so they honestly, they just really didn't catch my eye. And so I was just like, yeah, I'm not gonna take a picture of them. But if you really, really like, I I will, when I go in today for my Bopis order, I'll try and snag a picture, but no promises. Cause you all know I get nervous. Introverts get nervous out here in these streets. Um, also there, which you probably saw in some of the pictures, was the White Barnes um, Spring Seasonal Collection. So that's the watermelon lemonade, pineapple mango, island margarita, pink apple punch, eucalyptus rain, bergamot waters, laundry day, y'all remember my boo laundry day, and cinnamon spice vanilla. Those were in there as well. Those again are repackages that we see um, just about every year. What I did not see, and I was like, Oh, I can't even say that I'm disappointed because I had no expectations whatsoever to see any of these candles. Uh, but the ones that I did not see were the White Elephant candles, which are Cosmopolitan, Candy Cane Colada, and Top Shelf. Did not see those. As well as the, um, oh, I was going to say the Fancy Collection, but the collection that I'm looking forward to the most. And I hate saying that because now I'm getting my hopes up. Oh, um, <laughs> that is hot pink cocoa, white brioche French toast, white chocolate macadamia. Um, oh crap, what is the other one? The other one is, okay, I had to look it up again, is caramel um, frappuccino. I guess I forgot it because I'm not a huge caramel fan. I don't know. Um, but that one, and those are part of the All Is Calm Murano collection. Um, did not see any of those. Also, I did not see the All Is Calm Quilts collection, which is linen sheets, cozy cashmere, and cuddle weather. So, yeah, I was kind of, you know, I mean, honestly, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't see the ones that I really wanted, but it's cool. It's cool. Life goes on. 
Um, also, I did not see the Scenes collection from All Is Calm, which is Vanilla Birch, Afternoon Rainfall, Palo Santo, and Lavender Vanilla, or the Soulcation ones, um, which is Palo Santo, Vanilla Coconut, Surf, Endless Weekend, and Destinations collection. Did not see those. The Blue Iceland, Icelander Waters, Sedona Sandstone, and Bali Rainforest. And so rumor has it that those, the All Is Calm collection, that those will probably, maybe, if we're lucky, see on Candle Day 2 or 3, uh, more likely 3 if they do a staggered release. <laughs> <laughs> but it all just depends. Um, the Soulcation Affirmation and Destination ones, those are rumored to be like coming out later on. Um, maybe we'll see them on day three, depending on how the candles move. Or we might have to wait until, um, you know, in a couple of weeks or so. <laughs> um, but yes, so I hope that that was plenty um, of information for you all. I hope that it was helpful. Um, I wish that I had a candle to tell you guys that I was super excited about, but unfortunately, they didn't really tickle my fancy, but, you know, scents are up to, you know, they're, they're, uh, personal. And so, what I may enjoy, it may not be the same thing that you enjoy, but if you enjoy the candles that I enjoy, we're, we're gonna hold out for the other collections because these just aren't doing it. Um, also, I'm not sure if you've seen the pictures of the body care collections, but um, Philly Girl 31 brought it to my attention that like for, um, cause since Galore had pictures up, I believe, and that she had Dahlia, Sweet Pea, are you, are you snoring on me? Um, <laughs> Sweet Pea, and um, Pure Wonder and other candles posted up. And unfortunately, those like, it just looks like someone slapped a sticker on and even Saltwater Breeze. And I'm like, come on, they couldn't get a wrap around um, candle. Like, can we please get nice, pretty labels, please? Um, but I guess they figure for $9.95, like most of those candles are going to fly off the shelf because if you're ever interested in the signature body care candles, like you have, you have to um, get them as soon as you see them because they fly off the shelves, they disappear and they like, I don't want to say never come back, but they never come back. Um, so please make sure you get them if you are at all inclined. Um, but yeah, with that, I hope that this was helpful. Um, I will try to take some more pictures when I go in for um, my BOPUS order today. Um, also, if you have any BOPUS orders, like they are back, 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 backed all the way up. Um, so if you have a BOPUS order, I encourage you to go pick it up today, maybe even tomorrow. And then that way you can see if your store has some of the candle day candles um, available and then you can try them out. But with that, I hope that this was helpful and we will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.